PGTA results typically turn around in a week to two weeks. It can vary based on the, the lab that you're sending it to, whether um, some of it is logistics. How far do you have to send it? Um, is it overnight or is it something that's just right down the hall? Um, and then the type of testing that they're doing, PGTA, right? That one is typically around a week's turnaround. Um, and then if you're doing further testing, monogenetic testing, then it's gonna take longer to, to carry that out. Um, some of it has to do with the platform that the, the, that the lab is using, how exactly they're carrying out the genetic testing, and also whether, you know, whether the, the, the results need to be turned around quicker or not. You know, early on, they're, they're, the turnaround time was, we were trying to achieve max, uh, minimum turnaround time because the whole thought was that you needed to transfer the embryos back fresh. And so you were biopsying on day five and turn around, you needed the results by day six. Um, but since we have shifted away from doing a lot of those fresh transfers, ultimately the, the, it has allowed the genetics companies to then enhance and get more information, get better, more accurate information, but it takes a little bit longer. And so that's why you see usually a turnaround time of seven to 14 days.